Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a step by step process of designing a dodecahedron in SOLIDWORKS. Each face in dodecahedron is a pentagon, and angle between two faces is 116.5 degrees. So, first, I'm going to open the file because I already saved a file with the same name. You can always create a new file by simply clicking on Ctrl plus N. So first, I want to draw a pentagon on top plane. So to do that, I'm going to right click on top plane and select sketch. Using polygon tool, I'm going to draw a pentagon. Make sure that the number of sides is 5 here. I want each side of this pentagon to be 70 mm. So I'm going to enter the value as 70 using smart dimension now i want to add a relation between origin and this point here and it's going to be vertical now the sketch is fully defined instead of using extruded boss or base i'm going to use planar surface tool which you can find under surfaces tab if you don't see surfaces tab here simply right click over here and go to tabs you can see surfaces here if it is disabled simply click on click on that so i'm going to choose planar surface and solidworks automatically detected current sketch if it is not selected you can simply click on the sketch here and i'm going to click on ok now we have a planar surface here on top plane what i want to do is i want to copy this uh, plate over here with an angle of 116.5 degrees between them to do that I'm gonna go to mesh modeling and choose move or copy bodies if you don't find it anywhere you can simply search for move or copy bodies for bodies to move I'm going to select this body but we need to drag down to this option here and select transfer or rotate instead of made settings so once you select translate or rotate you can see that it is in translate mode we don't want to do this so i'm going to go with rotate mode here we need to select an entity as a reference here this is the one that i'm going to select as reference and for the angle I'm going to enter the angle which is 116.56505 that is the exact value you won't be able to see any preview unless and until you click on the design canvas once you click on the design canvas you would be able to see the preview here so I'm going to click on OK now we want another plate here to do that i'm going to go with the same option again bodies to move i'm going to select this body and i'm going to select this edge here angle 116.56505 but if we enter positive value here this is what's going to happen it will be copied in a opposite direction so what we are going to do is we are going to enter a negative value and SOLIDWORKS will copy it in the direction that we are looking for now I'm going to choose move or copy bodies again this time I want to choose uh, this body and for rotate I'm going to choose this edge angle is going to be positive 116.5 degrees click on ok now that we have this one here what I what I want to do is I want to create a axis a reference axis with front and right plane so I'm gonna go to features with front and right selector you can select both the planes by holding down the control button and using your left cursor left mouse button and i'm going to select axis here 
Serverx will automatically select front and right as we already selected it and I'm going to click on OK. I can't see access here to do that. I'm going to select this button here. Now we have the access. What I want to do is I want to create a circular pattern. For direction one, I'm going to choose access one and number of instances is going to be five. Instead of uh, using features and faces, I'm going to use bodies. So this body and this body, I want to create a pattern with and I'm going to click on OK. I want to hide this axis here. As you can see, with section view it is not a solid but we want a solid here to do that what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go to surfaces and I want to select knit surface and under knit surface I'm going to select all the body here so that SolidWorks will automatically detect the parts to knit and make sure to select create solid here so once you do that and after going with section view, you can see that it is a solid body. Now I'm going to go to right plane and I want to create a sketch here. First a center line with origin as the starting point and a line bigger than the dodecahedron now what i want to do is i want to add a relation here the midpoint of this line and the midpoint of the center line are coincident to each other now the sketch is fully defined i'm going to go to features extruded cut make sure under end condition we have through all in both directions as you can see we have it over here click on ok now that we made it into half what i want to do is i want to quickly go to mesh modeling move bodies move or copy bodies now instead of using translate or rotate i'm going to constraints uh, for bodies to move or copy i'm going to select this body here and under mate settings we have entities to mate I'm going to select this top face and then I'm gonna select top plane and make them coincident okay now I want to go to go now I want to go to features and then mirror mirror face or plane is going to be this and instead of using features to mirror or faces to mirror I'm going to go with bodies to mirror. Make sure that you are unchecking this merge solids here. Bodies to mirror. I'm going to select the whole body and click on OK. Now we have two halves here. I'm going to go to mesh modeling and select move or copy bodies. For bodies to move or copy, I'm going to choose the upper body. And uh, under entities to mate, what I want to do is I want to select this face and this face add so I'm going to choose this vertex and this vertex and make them coincident add but before that what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this one here and uh, select this face and this face add and the last one that we have here is this vertex
now we are done with adding mates this time I'm going to use combine it will be in mesh modeling here select combine and bodies to combine select both the bodies and under operation type select add and click on ok now we are done with combining the bodies and here we have a dodeca head drawn which is a solid you can check it by using section view like this and you can save the file once you're done with the design this way you can create a dodeca hedron using mesh modeling surface tools and uh, some of the common features which we use in solidworks see you in the next video until then take care bye bye